Hello, today we are going to build a simple image classification app in just 10 minutes. So what is image classification and what does it do? Image classification is where a computer can analyze an image, predict and assign a class level to the image from a predefined set of classes or categories. So a class level can be anything like a bird, dog, cat, car, orange, and so on. So it is a computer vision topic where in twin is a branch of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So actually image classification has been widely used in many areas, such as medical imaging, object identification in satellite or drone images, traffic control, machine vision, and many more. So what it takes to build an image classifier from scratch? Well, firstly, you have to collect big data to train a good quality model. You need to collect loads of the uh, sample images. Secondly, for image annotation, you need to add labels to the sample images. And thirdly, you need hundreds of thousands of hours of training to actually to converge your models uh, using the either cloud or on-premise GPU cluster. All these are very expensive and time-consuming. So generally speaking, ordinary people or even small companies cannot afford it. Fortunately, many pre-trained image classification models are available nowadays. Most of them are deep learning models trained on millions of images. There are many benefits associated with using such pre-trained models. For example, cost saving, no need for you to build from scratch, saving you lots of time and money. Speed to market is a good starting point to be used out of box for your project. Also, they are coming from free source, open source community and plug and play. You just need to download and use it straight away. We cannot discuss pre-trained image classification model without mentioning an important international competition called ImageNet Challenge, also known as ILS VRC, ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge. Every year, AI researchers and companies are competing head to head to each other to see who can champion the best image classification model. They are using a massive benchmark image dataset called ImageNet, which contains more than 14 million hand annotated images with 20 key classes, where 1000 classes are used for like for like comparison for the competition and is available for free to researchers for non commercial use. As you can see, many state-of-art models have been created out of the competition, such as AlexNet in 2012, VGGNet in 2014, and ResNet in 2015 to accurately classify 1,000 object classes, especially animals. Do you know that human's image recognition accuracy is 95%? This benchmark has already been exceeded by AI in 2015 with 96.4% accuracy. This is a breakthrough in AI innovation history indeed. Many pre-trained models and resources are available. For instance, uh, many are hosted in Hugging Fest, NGC, NVIDIA GPU Cloud, Open Model Zoo, OnCast Model Zoo, so ONNX stands for the Open Neural Network Exchange, TensorFlow Detection Model Zoo, and many more on GitHub and the open source community. Okay, no more theory. Let's get hands-on trying to build a simple image classifier app fast prototype with pre-trained models right now. Here, we are using TensorFlow Keras and Streamlit. Streamlit is a very handy tool, supposed to be the fastest way to build data apps and data products. No front-end experience needed. And by just inserting a few API calls, it can turn your data science notebook or Python scripts into shareable web apps instantly. So if people are interested in how to use Streamlit, I can create another dedicated tutorial video on it soon later. Now let's actually take uh, the look at the simple steps we need to follow for this uh, uh, fast prototype. So firstly, we need to use the Keras to load an excellent pre-trained model like VGG16. Secondly, prepare 
you know, your own images in the right format for the pre-trained model. And then in the third step, using the pre-trained model to predict the class levels on your own images. And lastly, apply the streamlet to convert your Python script into a web app instantly. Okay, let's take a look at the source code. So as you can see, in my source code, first of all, I need to import the necessary the Python libraries, um, OpenCV and the NumPy, Spinnet, TensorFlow, Keras, and so on. Okay. So in the first step, as we said, we need to load the VGG16 image classifier model pre-trained on the ImageNet dataset. So this line of code is for this purpose. Then also I defined a utility functions for step two, prepare our own images in the right format for the pre-trained model. Here you can see the uh, for the VGG model, it expecting the input images in the format or in the shape or like the 224 pixels high, 224 pixels wide, and also with three color channels, and also we supply one image at a time for prediction. So we need to prepare our input image in the format of the of the uh, the, uh, the some multiple dimension array of the one two two four two two four three right. Then this is the one for the second step. Then in the third step, and I build another utility functions to ready to use the pre-trained model to predict the class levels on our own images. So once you do like image loading and processing, then you feed the the VGG model with the pre-processed uh, image uh, object. So the model will make the prediction. Then we will call the another library functions actually to decode the prediction result from the VGG16 model. So that's it. So lastly, we apply the streamlet to convert our Python script into a dead web app by just adding three streamlet API calls. So job is done. So you can see the first API call is just for users to actually choose uh, images for AR to classify. The second API call is for displaying the choosing image in the web GUI. And the third API call is for showing the prediction result, that is, what object class it is in the web page. So also I create another uh, auto-run the Python script. Basically, it's a help you to, to install the, all the required Python libraries, OpenCV, TensorFlow, and Streamlit, and also uh, simply running the, the Streamlit app by a single line of code here. Okay. Okay. So going back to the uh, the step by step setup instructions. So it's pretty simple. First of all, you just need to download the source code, and then you can unzip the this uh, uh, source code uh, to some local file you want. So, and in the second step, optionally, you can create an active uh, virtual environment for this uh, mini project. So if you are wondering so why we need the virtual environment and what it is, you can refer to my previous video titled Create Virtual Environment for your data science project. Okay, so then the, in the third step, just install and uh, run the app. So the, you can see like in the command line, you need to move to the, uh, the folders of the C, uh, CV app. And then you'll see like uh, three, you know, the files and the directories, openround.py, image underscore recognition, uh, underscore app.py, two scripts and a dead subfolder. And also simply type in the command, python autorun.py to install all the packages and run the 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 streamlit app in one go okay so just waiting for about uh, five minutes for a cup of tea or coffee until all the libraries in, in the installation has been completed and the image recognition app should be automatically up and running in your web browser so if it's not you can just uh, manually type in uh this uh, you know the url in your web browser to bring it on so then you can drag and drop any image from the uh, your local folder. So actually, I already you know preloaded some like the sample images you know for you to play. So you can also like free to add the more uh, images you know to this folder for the testing purpose. Then have fun here. Yeah? Okay, so uh, let's actually the, get uh, our hands dirty to actually to try it by ourselves. So here you can see. 
I already like the have this uh, you know the uh, CV underscore app in you know, the uh, zip. Also, I unzip unzip it to the some uh, subfolder in my computer. So I can just add into this uh, uh, subfolder. So you can see I already have the auto run dot pi image recognition app two scripts and the some uh, samples in the subfolder of the named data uh, available. So once you download the whole source code and everything will be there, okay? So, and then uh, optionally, we can create some uh, virtual environment just for the dependency isolations for our dedicated uh, data science project, right? So if you're running like a multiple data science project, it's a huge, huge useful, you know, to set up your virtual environment for each uh, data science project because they have different uh, dependencies, okay? And uh, okay, let's do it. So we can use in the counter, you know, the um, counter, you know, create, you know, the, let's call our uh, virtual environment called the computer vision CV. And also I want the Python version is 3.6. Okay. Yeah. So just waiting for seconds and you can see proper is just yes. And to install all the packages. Okay. Cool. Okay. Now it's installed. Let's activate this new virtual environment CV. Okay. Okay. Now we are, you see the CV becomes the proxy of the prompt command line. That means that we already uh, activated this virtual environment. So the, in the next step, as they say, we just need to, you know, we just need to actually to Python auto run, uh, running this script to actually to install all the requirement, uh, required in the Python libraries for this app. Also like to get like a streamlit app up and running. So just type this single line code and waiting for five to 10 minutes and everything will be sorted and the app should be automatically up and running. So just waiting for a bit, okay? And now you can just take some short break and have a cup of tea or coffee for yourself and uh, while you are waiting for the process is to be complete, yeah. Mm. Okay, now you say say the prompt. Do you want the app, you know, to accept the incoming network accession? Accept allow. Okay. Now you see the whole in the libraries and app has been installed and up and running. Okay. Now let's have some quick test uh, on our image classifier app. So we can just like to drop some like a sample images. Here I already got some samples and we can just drag and drop here. So this is convert. So can I operate it correctly? I say it's robbing. Okay, very nice. It's correct. So let's try another one. So how about this? Just waiting a seconds. Okay, I say it's a meerkat. Okay, brilliant. Okay, nice. So I'll try another one. Maybe not anymore. Okay. As it's work, voila. So this is pretty accurate for our uh, pre-trained uh, image classification model using the VGG16. So it's like a good starting point for our fast prototyping of the any image classify, you know, the mini project. So yeah, so hope you like this kind of the, uh, short demo, okay. Okay, so at the beginning of this session, I said we will DIY an image classify app in 10 minutes. Here, 10 minutes is not the exact time you need. Maybe it's a bit shorter or a bit longer. So, but the key point here it is by just using like only 30 lines of code in total, in, even including the, all the comments line, you can quickly build a simple but interesting image classification app by yourself in minutes rather than hours or days. Hope that will help to convince the key message I want to come across. That is, everybody can do AI. With our little bit like research and effort, you, me, and everybody can access, use, and have fun with AI. That is, everybody can do AI innovation and democratization. You have already seen the first example, and let's see more and more coming shortly in the coming up sessions. Okay, so I have uploaded both the slide deck and the whole source code 
for this lab. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like to download this tutorial slides together with the complete source code to reproduce this AI app by yourself. Plus a lot more free data science, machine learning and AI learning resources I have shared. Thanks and see you later.